Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, I want to show you guys how to set up waypoints in specific planes uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, specifically whenever you've already entered into a game, and you don't want to back out, have to set uh, a whole flight plan up, and whatnot. So, in airliners, specifically, I'm in the 747, but I do know that this works in the 787. Um, I don't know about other airliners and stuff, uh, or other small planes. So, um, but, anyway, I'm going to move this away here. We're going to be focusing on the center console. Um, this may be different for other planes, I'm not too sure. Uh, I just know for the 787 and 747, specifically... This is exactly how it works. So, this right button right here, if you click on this, it's going to come up origin and destination. Now, it'll say right one, and there will be a one slash two. I'm going to get to that in a minute because you can set up other waypoints along the way. Now, okay, so let's just say we, right now, I'm at, uh, I'm at, Montreal. So, Montreal's, before we even click on any button right here, we're going to use this panel, and Montreal's, uh, the airport that I'm at, C, Y, where's Y, uh, U, L, where's L, okay, so that's, that's the code for this, and then all you have to do is just click this little button, boom. You, if you want to spe specify a runway that you want, you can, but it's not necessary. So, I already set that. Now, destination. Where we want to go. Um, let's just say Quebec. So, Quebec's is C, Y, Q, B. Uh, Q, B. And then I just click this little thing, and it's set. Now, um, by using my little panel here, I can go into this range and I can move this panel down. I'm going to click this so that way you can 360 you see. Now we have a line. I'm going to click V for my map and uh, let's make this a little bit bigger for you guys. Uh, as you can see, I now have a line that goes all the way to Quebec. But, let's just say I want to sightsee. I want to go and do some other stuff. Well, while you've, you have to set an, an origin point and a destination point in order to set extra points along the way. So, now we click on previous and this. So these two buttons right here. So next page. Now this is going to go, so 2 out of 2. It'll still say right 1. It'll say 2 out of 2. It'll say via and 2. Now, don't worry about anything via. Via just means that it's... If you program in a way, it's going to be like, do you want to direct or IFR or whatever like that. This will automatically put it... Put it uh, punch itself in because you've already set an or uh, a destination. An origin and a destination. So all you need to do is just create a code or a marker or whatever from here. So now we want to go to an airport in between. So there's an airport that I know of that's in between. I don't exactly know what it's called, but I know the code. So C Y R Q. So if I just click this little button right here, Okay, now it says direct, and it says CYRQ. Notice there is now a yellow line. So if I open up my map right here, it, it will now show a yellow line. So this is the new route that, I've, uh, that I have now created. <clears throat> Before, whenever I did this, it, uh, it had this here. I'm assuming I just got to click activate. Mm, boom. So I now click activate in in my thing. And for some reason, you have to click this button 
again in order for this map to update. So watch what happens after I click this. Click that. And now the whole map has now updated. So let's just say I want to go in between to another room. Let's just say, do you see this little marker right here? I'm not entirely too sure if this will work. I've only tested it here, but let's let's just see what happens. Um, so this thing, YSC. Y, S, and C. I've now I, I haven't done this, so I'm just gonna click on here. Selected waypoint. Oh. Well, I'm not entirely too sure what just showed up here. Whoa. Interesting. So it just picked a, a waypoint that was somewhere around here. And if I click activate and then click that, it now... It now moved because I clicked this one, so it's just going to go bing, bing, bing. Now, if you missed something specifically, right, let's just say you're like, oh, well, I, this is cool, but I don't want to go here. So all you have to do is just click on. Uh, I'm looking for the delete button. There is a delete button. I'm assuming I can just clear. No. There was a delete button. Interesting. Oh, right there, the delete. Sorry. So, you click on delete here at the bottom, and I can just click on this and remove this whole leg and click activate, and it'll just completely remove that one so now we can go here and then we can add in if we wanted to that other that other one so c y r o again c y r or sorry it was q c y r q and then click on that again and then activate so then it's like yes that seems good and now i can go like that Bing, bing, bing. That's so if I wanted to. So anyway, that's the whole this menu. Um, and I hope that uh, this helps you. And that you can go anywhere you want without having to exit the game. Uh, safe flying. See you guys in the next video.